Good morning. Good morning, morning, morning Father. Father. Let's begin our celebration together in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we begin to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we pause to call to mind our sins and the Lord's willingness to forgive us. He was sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He came to call sinners Christ. Mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Amen. Let us pray. For God, strengthen those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace. That in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered, and his zeal he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word he shut up the heavens, and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah! In your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You brought a de dead man back to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai abhorred avenging judgments. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taken, you were taken aloft in a whirlwind, whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers toward their sons, and to re-establish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you, and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind. Then Elisha, filled with a twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him flesh was brought back into life. In life he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, Lord you just. Fire go goes before him and consumes his foes round about. His lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and trembles. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, you just. 
The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice, and all peoples see His glory. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught. All gods are prostrate before Him. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Don't be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your Heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, these last couple of days, as he continues the Sermon on the Mount, speaks about prayer. And the first thing he says about prayer is, it's private. It's personal. It's not for show. It's not to impress other people. And then he says, today, don't babble like the pagans who think if they keep on battering the Lord with many words, or even worse, with the right words, then God will hear them. He says, stop. Stop trying to overwhelm God in yourself by saying all kinds of things. Now, there's values to things like novenas and rosaries and the formal prayers of the church. But it's just like, don't miss the basics. And so he teaches of the Our Father. And the Our Father basically starts with Daddy. However, you want to speak of that closeness that you've had to your own parent. Because that's what God is, first and foremost. Our Father, and we are His children. And that's where prayer begins. We recognize who we're talking to. Not God, all powerful, all fearful, wonderful God in heaven. No, it's Daddy. you call them. Then it talks about commitments. That God, you're in heaven. Hell be your name. Help me to do things in my life worthy of who I am and who you are. If I'm your child, help me to restore to keep up, to value family 
regulations. If I hold something sacred, then I do sacred things. I live in a certain way. I don't want other people to think ill of me or of you. Your kingdom come, not my kingdom. It was interesting as we listened to Elisha speaking about Elijah. He kept on saying, you did this, you did this, you did this. And I'm going like, no, no, you missed it. God did this, God did this, God did this. God worked through Elijah. God worked through Elisha. God works through each of the prophets and each of the miracle workers. It's not about them. It's about him. It's about how much he loves us. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of God belongs here in our midst. It's the kingdom of justice. It's the kingdom of peace. It's the kingdom of love. It's the kingdom of forgiveness. And then we ask two big things of God. Give us our daily bread. Help us today with what we need. Feed us. Not just the Eucharist, not just manna that came from the sky, not just food. But give us everything we need today. Give us the strength, the courage, the grace, the help, the endurance to deal with today. To live safely, to live well, to do the things that we should be doing they're only possible with your grace, with your help, with your assistance. And the ultimate thing that we have to do is to live like you and forgive. Because we're not the Father, we're the children. It's not for us to judge other people. It's not for us to condemn other people. It's not for us to be miserable because we've been hurt by others. But it's to do well and to create a world in which forgiveness is possible. As we forgive others and they forgive us. Mirroring what God has done. And then deliver us. Save us from temptation, from evil, from all that can harm us. From ever forgetting who we are and especially who you are. Help us, Lord, to live as your children really should. Amen. 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 Let us pray, students of the peace of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the appearance of God's kingdom in the lives of the faithful, Lord, hear our prayer. For honor of God's holy name among the peoples of this earth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For a share of the bread of creation for all in need of food, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. <laughs> for shared forgiveness among spouses and families, friends, and enemies, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For saving strength during the trials of illness, grief, and pain for all of our sick, for all of those suffering from coronavirus, for all of those who face death soon in their lives, for them we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for deliverance from death's power for all who have gone before us. We pray in a special way today for Melagritos Torres and for those we mentioned now by name. For all of our departed, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. And we turn now to Mary, our mother, asking her to, through the Father, to intercede for us and to grant us vocations. And so we say, God, our, our Father, Father, we give you thanks for calling us to embrace the gift of life and to share it. As one through Jesus the Christ, he chose the first disciples to proclaim the good news and put out your spirit upon the church, we do us now in our vocation and our mission of reconciliation. Let, Let the same call echo in the, in the hearts of many, many young persons, persons. That, that they may generously respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters, 
After the Temple of Mary, the beautiful Lady of La Salette, inspired men and women in our time, the desire to be light and salt in the church and the world. Amen. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Listen to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We come a spirit and come by passion in you, accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. So God, in the offerings presented here, provide us for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. For every pray that the sustenance they provide May not fail us in body or in spirit. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give thanks. Father, most holy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. You were to whom you made all things. And we sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining to you our holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so, with angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with John, our Bishop, with all the clergy. We remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. And we're seeing this we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may become co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the same hmm. command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King and the power and their glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, we set your apostles peace on me, my peace I give to you, with not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you. Always. And with Always your be spirit. Talk to one another as a sign of the Lord's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <laughs> you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we, called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
to remind you that tomorrow is the Feast of uh, Sacred Heart. And as part of that feast day, we'll be praying the Novena to the Sacred Heart. English in the morning, Spanish in the evening. Amen. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.